Пахомов, председатель городского собрания Сочи Виктор Петрович Филонов, первый заместитель начальника безопасности Российской Федерации, начальник службы в городе Сочи. These red packs may look ordinary, but apparently this is a trademark of a drug syndicate called Red Dragon. Each pack contains one kilogram of high-grade methamphetamine chloride, or shabu, according to the National Bureau of Investigation. Authorities seized 890 kilograms of these high-grade shabu in a series of operations in Pasay, Cavite, and the biggest in San Juan City, where the group operates its laboratory. The NBI also arrested 10 individuals, including three Chinese nationals. These people are they cooking drugs now, and then they dismantle it and they put it in the different uh, warehouses para hindi matrace. Malakas ang loob nila because uh, kahit na nga uh, maigting yung kampanya laban sa droga, eh, nandun lang sila sa San Juan, paikot-ikot lang. The street value of the entire hall is about 6 billion pesos. And it is not only the biggest hall for this year, but so far the biggest so far in history. One kilogram of shabu now costs 10 million pesos. Bolivar says the price of shabu has increased by 4 million over the past six months because of the government's war on drugs. Maring sa ibang probinsya ay hindi ganon kaigting ang uh, efforts, ano? Hindi lang ng ibang ahensya, kundi pati yung mga local government na nandoon. Aside from crystalline and powdered substances, the NBI also discovered a thousand liters of liquid shabu, which can be converted to 500 kilograms of the crystallized form. They also found 40 grams of epidrin, another important component in producing illegal drugs, and 40 kilos of caffeine. Caffeine is just an adulterant. Na kasi hindi ba caffeine nakakahay din? Pampadami pa rin po siya. Trisha Tarada, CNN Philippines.
As in Germany, the end of the year in France means colourful and crowded Christmas markets. Even before last week's attack in Berlin, security here on the Champs-Élysées was tight, insured by regular police patrols, 200 cameras and 60 concrete blocks. Large crowds mean strong security measures with controls, searches, protected perimeters. And all of that was obviously taken into account well before what happened in Germany. Although, of course, the Berlin attack reminds us of the need for vigilance. Vigilance that will mean 10,000 soldiers on the streets of France over the holiday period reinforcing a police presence that is 91,000 strong. Extra security measures announced earlier this month by this man. Bruno Leroux visited the Champs-Élysées on the very week of his appointment as interior minister. He called on Parisians to show their thanks. They are citizens who are at the service of our security. They pay a heavy price and I ask that in this holiday period there be demonstrations of friendship, of solidarity towards those who ensure the security of the French people in this difficult period. For more than a year now, France has been living under a state of emergency. Bernard Cazeneuve, the incoming Prime Minister, told Parliament why it was both necessary and working. Since the beginning of the year 2016, 420 people with links to radical Islamism were arrested and 17 attacks planned on the French soil were foiled. After the speech, MPs voted to extend the state of emergency until July of next year. But for those involved in policing the streets of Paris, the extra measures are beginning to take their toll. Obviously, we have the means to ensure Paris's security during the holiday period. Extra riot police will be deployed and also extra mobile units. But if I may ask, at what cost? What I mean is there is a human cost for the security forces in general, whether policemen or gendarmes. We are really giving of ourselves, of our time, and at a cost to us and to our families. For now, though, the Interior Ministry insists that such sacrifices are necessary. We have to maintain this high level of vigilance in the face of a threat that remains very high, even as we continue to live, to live freely, to live peacefully. I should have expected to find you holding Vader's leash. Carrie Fisher, best known as Princess Leia in Star Wars, has died. Fisher had a heart attack Friday during the final 15 minutes of a flight from London to Los Angeles. According to TMZ, Fisher was on a ventilator the entire time she was hospitalized, never regaining consciousness. She's seen here in an audition tape with soon-to-be co-star Harrison Ford. When R2 has been safely delivered to my forces. Critics pointed to the strong chemistry between Fisher and Ford, and with good reason. Fisher recently revealed that she and Ford were off-screen lovers. 40 years? Is that right? 40 years I thought I'd wait. Okay, so you revealed that you were having an affair with, with Harrison Ford. I was. You, well, you say it. Um, oh. but, yes, I did. All right, so how did that stay a secret for 40 years? How did I was good at that, wasn't I? Fisher was born in Beverly Hills. Mother, actress Debbie Reynolds, father, singer Eddie Fisher. I was primarily brought up by my mother, but I saw my father. Fisher poked fun at the absurdities of showbiz life and all manner of self-medication, including taking pills to control her emotions. Any mood stabilizer is a weight gainer. So what, whether you, you feel better, but then you're fat, so you, what you gain is a loss. It's just, a, it's not a good situation. Fisher spoke about being bipolar and often turned pain into humor, also writing, wishful drinking and shockaholic. Fisher was briefly married to singer Paul Simon in the 1980s. Years later, she gave birth to a daughter, Billy Catherine, from her relationship with agent Brian Lord. She debuted in the acclaimed film Shampoo. I, I'm really nothing are. like my mother. In between the Star Wars movies, Fisher landed a number of meaty roles in Soap Dish. I think we found our waiter. And as Meg Ryan's wisecracking friend in When Harry Met Sally. Someone is staring at you in personal growth. But nothing could, would, or perhaps should loom larger on screen than Fisher in Star Wars. Transported you. It was extraordinary entertainment filmmaking. Do you like the princess? I have her over sometimes. She's a little bitchy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie Fisher was 60.
روزنامه یعنی شفق ترکیه می نویسد گروهی از وکلای شهر استانبول علیه قاسم سلیمانی فرمانده سپاه قدس ایران بشار اسد و شماری از فرماندهان ارتش سوریه اقامه دعوا کردند سلیمانی و بشار اسد از دید این وکلا متهم هستند که در سوریه و به ویژه شهر حلب مرتکب جنایات جنگی شدند قدم زدن فاتحانی سردار قاسم سلیمانی در خیابانهای حلب آن هم چند روز پس از تسخیر این شهر توسط ارتش دولتی سوریه خشم مخالفان اسد در داخل و خارج از سوریه را برانگیخته حالا که مسلس بازیگران سوریه ظاهرا یا باطنا هر روز پررنگ تر می شود و گویا قرار است همین مسلس هم تکلیف نهایی سوریه را روشن کند دیپلماسی در دستگاه وزارت خارجی سه کشور پرتب و تاب دنبال می شود ایران، روسیه و ترکیه تماس تلفنی مولود چاوشغلو وزیر خارجه ترکیه با محمد جواد ظریف همتای ایرانی خود و بلافاصله تماس با سرگی لابروف بخش از تاب و تب این دیپلماسی پیرامون تحولات سوری است. دیروز در پایتخت ترکیه آنکارا مراسمی به مناسبت 97 امین سالگرد ورود مصطفی کمال پاشا ملقب به آتا ترک برگزار شد. آتا ترک بنیانگذار جمهوری نوین ترکیه در میان مردم این کشور ارجمندی خاص خود را دارد. در فاصله نه چندان دورتر از آنیت کبیر آرامگاه آتا ترک در کاخ سفید ترکی آقای اردوغان در حالی سکان قدرت را به عنوان میراثدار آتا ترک در دست دارد که کمالیست های منتقد در ترکیه معتقدند او میراث آتا ترک را آرام آرام به حاشیه برده است خبرگزاری اسپوتنیک روسیه به نقل از سخنگوی وزارت خارجه این کشور میگوید سلاحهایی که آمریکا برای نیروهای مخالف سوری میفرستد تهدید مستقیمی برای جنگنده های روسیه محسوب میشوند روسیه میگوید هیچ اطمینانی نیست که این سلاحها به دست گروه های تندروی نیفتد که خودشان را به اصطلاح میان رو میخوانند و نهایتا پایگاه خبری دیلی سبا به نقل از حیسم حسون ژنرال بلند پایه ارتش سوریه میگوید دولت سوریه از نیروهای کردی یپگه میخواهد که مناطق شمالی سوریه را که پیشتر دولت برای مبارزه با تروریست ها به آنها سپرده بود اکنون تخلیه کنند این جنرال ارتش سوریه گفته این همکاری در چهارچوب مبارزه با تروریست ها بوده و اکنون مبارزه با تروریست ها در این قسمت به پایان رسیده و باید نیروهای دولت در این مناطق مستقر شوند.